Okay, so let's get to my first tip. And actually, these are some of the things that I practice myself, so I'm sharing them with you. The first one is to plan your meals. Now, I remember growing up, um, we used to waste a lot of food. I mean, our, our fridge literally was packed. You know, Greek family, we can't be without a packed fridge. And I remember like, we, we never used to eat maybe half the stuff that was in there, especially when it came to the vegetables and things. Things would just go off and we'd end up throwing them away. And I got into this bad habit as well of buying too many things, buying too much food, stocking up the cupboards and then wasting things. But then one day a friend came to stay with me and I remember I'd, I'd made some chicken the night before and I went to throw away like, you know when you just get like a whole chicken and there's bits of chicken on it and you don't really, not really gonna use it, it's not enough for a meal you think. She goes, no, no, don't throw it away. And I was like, what, it's a chicken carcass. And she said, oh, you can make a really nice soup with this. And when we got talking, she was actually telling me how um, somewhere that she'd once lived in another country, it was really difficult for her financially and she literally made the most of every bit of food that she had in the house so she would make other things with with leftovers and that was really new for me and because she stayed with me a while I, I actually got to kind of learn how to you know budget properly for food how not to waste it how to make use of leftovers so that was a really good lesson for me and you can save so much money so what I do even today even though you know I'm not um, lacking financially in a sense but I still plan things, so I don't like to waste food. So I will look, before I do my, my monthly shopping, I will look inside my cupboards, see what I already have in the freezer, and I work out what I need just for the month. And if I have stuff already, I, I'm not gonna buy the same things again, just in case. I just, I just have what I need for the month. So you can also do the same, and also look inside your fridge. I do this regularly. I never throw food away anymore. Unless, you know, very rarely that I will throw something away, but for example, if you have something like cooked potatoes in, in your fridge and you think, oh, what can I do with this? Put them in an omelette, they're amazing. So just find ways of using what you already have and don't waste anything. The second thing you can do is to use diner's cards. Now, I, I have a card that um, allows me to have, um, it's basically buy one meal, get one free. So you can imagine that's like half the price of of you know for your meal when you go out and that's a that's a huge saving and you know this card the particular card that i have it allows you to it's so many of the popular restaurants are on there you'd be surprised so you know it's, it's a no-brainer really and the card itself costs like 30 pounds for the whole year which you make up like within two two meals that you have you already make up that saving so i would definitely recommend you know one of these kind of cards and also if you can't afford to go out for a meal a full meal as in like you know your starter your your main and your dessert which does really add up especially if you're going to have drinks on top of that just skip dessert for example or skip the starter or you can have <clears throat> you can have your meal at home and just go out and have dessert that's a big saving as well so just be kind of clever when you go out the next one is be smart with your clothing. So if, if you don't have much cash to spare, you're better off buying block colors. So for example, what I'm wearing today, I can use this in, in many different ways. I can wear it plain as it is. I can wear it like a, a waistcoat with it. I can put a jacket on. I can put different types of necklaces on. And I can create lots of different looks with one item which is more difficult to do if, for example, I, if I have a pattern top on, because it's obvious that I've worn that before. So just be kind of clever. You can, you can create so many different looks with just one item. The next one is, have a staycation. I know that's uh, kind of hard for some people. They love to go abroad, but you know, as you know, that does come at a cost. But if you are trying to save money for something or you're trying to pay off some debts, staycations can actually be really exciting. All you need to do is do some research just go online, do some research about maybe exciting places to visit in, in England and exciting places to visit in the UK and, and find out places that you can go that you've never been to before. Sometimes it doesn't have to even be very far. It can just be a different area of London for you that you've never been to, but it can be so exciting because it's all new for you. So consider things like that as well. And the fifth one is buy what you can afford. Now, this one, is tricky for some people because I know you know you have your credit cards, um, you have your store cards nowadays. I'll let you in on a little secret. I have never owned a credit card. I have never owned a store card. Um, I've just never felt the need for one. What I do, I actually save up for things rather than actually um, getting myself into debt and paying things off monthly. So that's something that you can consider. I'm not saying, you know, don't have a credit card, don't have a store card, that's up to you obviously, but obviously the temptation is there if, you know, if you do have these cards and you do have credit. 
So try just saving up for things and, and paying things after you have enough money to do it. Another thing that you can do that I also do sometimes is just um, have like a, your own kind of, um, I would say store, like, like a, bit of a bit of saving so that it can be your own credit kind of thing. So if you run into an emergency, if you need to buy something that unexpected, or if you just want to treat yourself, you've got that money there already that you can take from your, from your savings and use that instead rather than getting yourself into debt.